show we ever laughed at was Tie Me Up, Tie Me Down, which I directed. And I said, oh, we're going to make this funny, guys. You know, it's hard to make something funny inside of the world that is disintegrated. I mean, how do you find humor in that? You know, except sarcasm, you know. But here we, we had an opportunity, and I, I said, you guys want to take this ride with me? They, they, they all said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, I think when I have Ellen come out, the first time you see Ellen, I want you to come out. And when you come out, you see that, that, that uh, uh, rack of, of bars that we would call them uh, to, uh, scaffolding that's on the side there. I want you to jump up on the scaffolding, and I want you to grab hold of it, and I want you to wrap your legs around Ty's face. <laughs> and, and pull right into your crotch. <laughs> and she goes, what? <laughs> I mean, just do it. You're going to be whacked out of your mind. You're going to come out drunk. And then, and, and then <laughs> during the scene, when I have her place her foot on Jamie Bender. <laughs> Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the movie. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, she, uh, Mary, has been incredible, and doing comedy hasn't been our, our stick. But when the cameras are start before they start to roll, a lot happens, and she's notorious for getting us going in laughter. And then once she starts to laugh, you can't stop her. So you know we've shut down production for three hours. <laughs> it's a long time. It's a lot of money, <laughs> and nobody's laughing except Mary. <laughs> And you know, it's the word, it's the end of the word. Mary, come down. <laughs> and then pretty soon we're all laughing and then we can't stop. It's fantastic. Yeah, but it probably, uh, she's very funny. Uh, of course, needless to say, Aaron is ridiculous. <laughs> He's always drinking. <laughs> he doesn't have a problem. That's <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know, Ty, uh, Hogan. He's got this. <laughs> that just he uses it at any given moment, and when he does it, it's all over. But the crying, I man, kidding, like just like, oh shit. <laughs> and he pulls it out, and then the crew gets involved. You know, the camera operators are sitting there going in. Well, that really sucked. <laughs> Are you really going to do it that way? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and, you know, they're just ripping, you know, ripping you, ripping you. So it's fantastic. It's really, it's a family. And we do move very quickly. But, man, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm going to miss this show. It's been an extraordinary experience. Oh, yeah, we are. And, uh, and hopefully Caprica can, you know, kind of like, give us more of a feeling, wow, it's still, we're still in that world, you know. But um, I gotta tell you, it's been an extraordinary experience. And uh, I would say that Mary would win. And um, let me think, who else really gets down and dirty? Um, Gaeta, <laughs> Alessandro, yeah, he's, he's funny. I mean, that kid is big. He surprised me the most. If I was to be asked, you know, what young artist really like caught you? It was this kid. I, I mean, I, I'm standing there and looking at the dailies, <clears throat> and I see this kid giving out technical information. That's it. You know, I turn around. You know, we're at six degrees to the left, over to the right, and then we're going to go through the door. Yeah, that was it. There's no, you know, and all of a sudden I'm saying, my God, this kid is so good that he, I really believe him. <laughs> you know, this, and this kind of information is not easy to throw, you know, usually you cut to the information being given, but you cut out just as quickly, it's and who's doing it, you know, and then it's the impact of the other actor. With him, you could leave the camera on him and have him going back to the monitor, you know, at his face, and he's working like crazy, and, and he, you go with him, and you, and you want to know more, and, and I said, this kid is really, really good, and sure enough, he, he's... His mother and father started the, the Shakespearean Company in Vancouver. <laughs> Oops, no wonder. You know, it's a classically trained artist, and the guy's fantastic. And you know, we have people there that have just blew me away. That are, are really the best cream of the crop. You know, and uh, I'm very grateful for that. Go ahead. They're too young to really be able to compare it with anything, so they they kind of like, of course, we're going to do this. And, um, but 
I would say that from the time I read the script, I knew that we were in for a hell of a ride. And especially if they did it with the, you know, integrity of Blade Runner. When, when I walked through the door, I can't tell you, I said to them, please, you know, we're going to do this, but let's, let's go watch Blade Runner a lot. <laughs> and then understand what that world is like. There's no, you know, aliens. No, we're only fighting ourselves. We're not fighting anybody else. Okay, we, we're going to go out there. We're not going to find anybody else out there. We're going to find ourselves out there. And the kind of people that we find out there. I bet it can.